Hello everyone, welcome to our Pal World Survival Guide. We're talking about medical conditions today, this kind of status effects that you might see some of your pals get uh, through, you know, one one way or another, and how to cure them. You can kind of see the, the, the top uh, right there that I actually have a pal right now who has a medical condition that I need to cure. And, you know, you might have the same condition or you might have something different. But we're going to talk about all of them. Um, there are 11, so far anyway, uh, medical conditions that your pal could potentially suffer from. So the first is a cold. And uh, that tends to happen if, like, your your pals don't have, like, a bed or, like, a hot springs. If they, don't, if they go without either of those or both of those for a very long time, they have a higher chance of developing a cold. So uh, a little kind of cure to fix the actual status effect is to craft them low-grade medicine supplies. But then also just make sure that you have enough beds and a hot spring so that that doesn't happen again in the future. But, you know, low-grade medical supplies, they'll, they'll help you in the short run. The second uh, status effect that you might uh, notice that your, your pals have is a sp sprained. Um, and that usually occurs when they're working too hard. Like if you have uh, the, I don't have one here, but if you have like the control box sort of thing that like allows you to increase how hard your pals are working. If you work them like really hard, like past their normal, uh, oh, hello there, their normal kind of like uh, capacity, they you have a ch you have a higher chance of them basically uh, acquiring a sprain. So you might want to like reduce the work a little bit now and then. Don't have them you know going f full tilt the whole time. Uh, but uh, to cure that, if you do see that, you're just gonna need to give them uh, also some low grade medical supplies. So, uh, Luke Moon, can you stop being on fire, my man? I'm gonna close this door because you just cannot be trusted in here. Clearly, he uh just doesn't um. He doesn't know how to walk. Okay, he's learning still. <laughs> oh man, there you go. Stay out there, buddy. Anyway, uh, so uh, so that's so so, uh, so sprained. You can cure with uh, low grade medical supplies, and then just obviously just kind of like you know maybe reduce their work hours a little bit. Uh, now the third medical condition is an ulcer, um, which that tends to happen when like they are super stressed uh, from working. And that might be because, you know, they might have, like, a, like, a passive, like, um, like, not skill, but, like, a little persona personality quirk, if you will, where, like, maybe they get more stressed when they are, uh, he, what are you, Loop Moon? I'm about to, we're gonna, we're gonna have words later. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that like so like if they over like if they over if they stress eat for example they might give themselves like an ulcer so anytime that your pals are stressed they have a chance of developing an ulcer so that basically means Luke Moon you're going in timeout man <laughs> that basically means uh, that uh, a way to like you know fix that for good is to make sure they have a bed they have hot springs obviously because those are things that they use to you know de-stress but uh, in the in the um, to quickly fix that problem, just feed them some medical supplies, uh, not low quality, not 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 or not, sorry, not low grade or high grade, just just plain old medical supplies, and that'll cure that uh, condition up. Now the fourth uh, medical condition they might suffer from is a fracture, and that can sometimes help when they're working. Like, like, like some, some, that can sometimes happen when they're working. Uh, they might be like working a little too hard or something, and then they might like accidentally like fracture themselves. Because you know these pals like their their AI isn't perfect. They might like end up like falling from some great height or something, or you know something might happen. And they end up fracturing themselves while they're working. Uh, and the other kind of thing is like usually happens like during a raid. Uh, there'll be like, you know, some enemies coming in and then they might get uh, hurt to the point where they, they end up with a fracture. So if that has happened to your pals, just craft some medical supplies and feed it to them and that will fix that medical uh, condition. The other kind of uh, medical condition you might notice uh, is weakened, and this one can kind of happen randomly. It might have to do with uh, potentially some of their stats. Like if if there's a pal that tends to be a little bit more like depressed, they might get weakened sometimes. Because uh, it, it tends to kind of sync up with, like, depression. So uh, if your pal also is depressed, which is another medical condition, we'll get into that in a moment, uh, they might also get weakened with it or, like, after or before, you know, it kind of, like, goes hand in hand with that almost. So uh, if you notice that, you're going to need some high-grade medical supplies. Just quick feed that to them. They'll be fine. 
Uh, and so the other half of that, like I said, is depressed. Uh, and again, that kind of happens when they, when a pal has low sanity or low hunger. So uh, because pals, again, their AI isn't perfect yet, uh, they might have like some pathing problems. They might get like stuck somewhere. Like this guy over here, he might, uh, or she might get stuck. I think she actually might be stuck, so I might need to pull her off there. Uh, and she, you know, then when they're hungry, they can't then go to the feed box. So they get, they get, uh, you know, they start to starve and they become depressed because they're starving. And, and, you know, anything like that can kind of happen. Uh, and if that's the case, if you have a, a pal that is depressed, just feed them, again, some high-grade medical supplies and they will be A-OK. -okay. Now, uh, the next one, Overfull, is actually a medical condition that one of my uh, pals have. We're actually going to cure them. Uh, this happens when they are stressed uh, and uh, overeating, basically, because they're stressed. Now, my little uh, lift monk over here... I don't really have anything that would cause them to do that, but I think I, I, I think I pulled them out before I had beds ready or the hot springs or something anyway. So uh, she's actually been over full for a very long time. But we finally have some low-grade medical supplies to feed to her, and that's exactly what you need to do if you have a, uh, an, a pal with the over full medical status. So let's just quick put uh, our friend here, and then we're going to put that in our party, and we are going to feed this to our friend here and linda has recovered from her illness so she is all good she is ready to go back to work there we go so we can see that it has cured her right up so if you have the same kind of situation just feed your pal uh low grade medical supplies and sh they'll they'll get back to it they'll be ready to go immediately uh so the kind of um last few medical uh conditions they don't really have like um fixes in terms of medicine there are other things that you have to do and they're they're, they're relatively easy but they do take time to recover from them so the first is starving uh you might notice like that something pops up on the right the right hand side that oh this you know this pal is starving and if that's the case which i'm gonna actually quick grab georgia over there because i think that she's gonna start starving pretty soon because she's not able to go anywhere there you go uh, so that's usually a case when a pal gets stuck, let's be honest. Like, Georgia was stuck there. If I had left her there, she would have been starving eventually because she just would have been stuck. So, uh, it's always a good idea to kind of keep an eye on your pals. Make sure that, you know, if you see that somebody is starving, just quick pull them. You know, put them somewhere. Uh, put them away and then pull them back out and then they'll be able to, you know, reset and get to the feed box. Um, or you can always make, like, a few feed boxes around if you want to. And then uh, they have a you know a better chance of, of getting to it uh, if they're stuck or not stuck or whatever. So, uh, so that's really the fix of that too. If they're starving, uh, fix them if they're stuck somewhere, and then just make sure that they that they have food. Like just double check your feed box to make sure that there is food in there. And as soon as they start eating, they'll be fine. Hi there, Jesus landing on me. Now the ninth uh, medical condition is incapacitated. Oh, hello there, herd of band eating wild pals, uh, is incapacitated, and this uh, happens when you, when like a pal usually like falls unconscious, like falls to zero health uh, during a raid, like right now. Uh, it can also happen if they starve to death, um, like if they, for example, if they get stuck and you just haven't quite noticed that, and then next thing you know they're incapacitated, that is another thing that can happen. So, um go but go guys go so if that happens if you do notice that they are incapacitated i wonder if i have any I'm pretty sure i have arrows oh hi there oh, I don't have arrows. never mind i lied it's all you and you guys you can do it i believe in you oh you did well done i know you totally could do it um anyways i uh, when somebody is incapacitated, two things will potentially happen. The first is uh, if it if it ha if it occurs in your base, there's a very good chance that one of your pals will carry it, will pick up the incapacitated uh, pal and then deliver them to the bed, which is amazing. I love it when they do that. 
and then in, at that point the pal will kind of start to recover and get their health back now if this happens outside of your base like one of your party members for example has become incapacitated you could either uh, put them in the pal box in which case there's like a counter and like they're healing during that counter or you could just throw them on the bed and they'll just like take that time and heal on the bed instead so it's kind of like your decision of whether you where you want them to heal either in the bed or uh in the pal box and you can do that obviously with any kind of uh, pal that has become incapacitated as well so uh you just, you don't, don't worry your your pal's not dead you just either have to put them in the pal box or on the bed if you would like uh the second to last medical condition is a minor injury which it looks like i think we're all good i don't think any of my guys received a minor injury despite that but the, that kind of happens you know during a fight primarily uh, I guess it can maybe happen while it's working, but it usually occurs like during a raid or when you yourself are out there fighting something. And uh, what what a minor injury basically means is like it's just kind of like, oh, they're kind of uh, they're just a little hurt a little bit more. Like it could be like like I like to consider it kind of like a sprain, but there's like a, you know, like there's like a sprain condition. So it's not really sprain, but like they have like because like, like, I'm basic cuts or bruises or whatever. And the way to fix that is really just to give them rest. So uh, you can again, you can put them in the pal box if you so wish and they can they can heal there or just make sure just like throw them on a bed and they will heal up uh, pretty quickly, to be honest. And that also goes for the last medical uh uh, condition which is the major injury now it's the name might be a little scary like oh god major injury like it's, it's terrible but it's it's really the same thing like it can happen you know during a fight of some sort raid or or out there in in the world and to fix it again you just literally just put it either in the pal box or in uh, a bed and they will heal over time uh, and it's really that simple this doesn't require any other kind of medicine or anything like that they just need rest so uh that's it for the different medical conditions there's quite a few of them out there but you know just uh with the kind of like appropriate uh medicine or uh treatment plan your pals will be totally fine in very little time and they'll be able back to you know back to production or back to you know in your in your party ready to fight so um that's about it thanks so much for watching guys i will see you in the next one until then keep surviving and keep thriving